I asked Chat G GPT what what is uh what is this this morning? And uh, it came up with a response that I listened to on that, and uh, I agree. Obviously, I'm not arguing with it. Uh, the neighbors were drilling into the wall. Okay, well, obviously, ChatGPT is not a scientist, and so you wouldn't really want to quantity order relevance. Okay. I, I haven't looked at this PowerPoint in a while. I, I made the PowerPoint. Um, that doesn't make me a scientist. Or does it imply that I actually understand what I'm talking about? Just like uh, ChatGPT may not exactly know what it is or anything like that. And um, you know, this, whatever. What is it? what is this even? Okay, physics. That's the science. So here is my example. I was I was looking at the to make sure the framing and this this right here, not this, but right around here is actually my favorite piece of art. Um, getting out the eggs. No, I'm going to show you the art in a second, but I'm I got to stay focused here because I don't have forever. There we go. There go the neighbors with the, the crazy drill. Okay. See, I like this. This this is not science, obviously. This is just me saying something that's cool. See how it sort of uh, very fine. Okay, but that's so physics. That's a, definitely a science. Now I I I did a presentation on material sciences and up with this sort of, what am I doing, I think you put the sugar in here, okay, some sugar over here, and then, gotta get some more in there later, I'm gonna do like not that sweet, uh, peanut butter cookies, physics, okay, that's obviously science, everybody agrees, but if I say something looks, had like, so this is not that heavy. It, does that make me a scientist? No, obviously. Okay, here's some peanut butter. Here's some flour. I'm looking for the sugar. So you, as physicists, they'll study different stuff, and that makes him a scientist. Okay, so if you're just observing, then that makes you a scientist. No, um, it has quantity, that's a good one. I haven't looked at this in a while, so I'm having fun learning and I'm gonna break the eggs. Or no, what's the joke? I'm, I'm gonna beat the eggs. Okay, one is in there. Okay, but I'm learning that like what, because GPT said that Gestalt usually refers to, to the science of the mind. Now, now that we're getting into GPT, I have this hypothesis that people are more trustworthy. Uh, uh, they're trust, trusting more people to tell you stuff about the mind. Um, whereas, I mean, I trust GPT also, but it's like, if... I'm trying to ex explain what is the science here, and clearly the entire world exists. That doesn't make it a science. Uh, people add on the science element. So that's, that's when you get into Gestalt qualities. Um, we aren't, it's a concept, science. Uh, it isn't merely, uh, it's like an abstract ad addition to the universe that is for some purpose. And so I was going to explain what is the purpose of, because I have some different examples. So the purpose of physics is to build a, a house or to understand something that, like a bubble, and that way you 
uh, really get get it. I'm going to turn the oven on. This is a really quick one. So the outcome of of a uh, 300 of a uh, science is that what you have something physical? No, that's that's just physics. Um, the outcome is that it's something that is not a mere observation. It isn't just a, a test that gave you a score. It's the science actually is somebody does something. Um, let's do another science. What is this? I just oh I'm just doing like oh yeah there's quantity and order. I don't know that doesn't that's obviously not a, you know what I think there is some science in this. Is science is a quality now? I don't understand what I'm. Oh yeah, it's just the concept. I don't know what I'm getting at here. Oh yeah, okay. That's that's no science. There's kind of science in in this hoarder. Is somebody who? Again, I'm not gonna. And you can analyze anything, and then it's a science. I guess I don't. I I I don't know what what. There was this recent trend where everybody was saying, I don't trust scientists. They are, I mean, I'm a scientist because when I, um, when I look at something like this is something and I can pick it up, get the peanut butter in here. What am I doing? Eating up nothing. The, uh, I'm saying to myself, yeah, I understand this. And what's the purpose? Yeah, I'm counting all these beans, but uh, well, that I, I don't think there's any purpose for that. So let's just get it out of the way. That kid is not a scientist. He may be using his observations, but he isn't doing anything scientific see I may be I'm taking all the peanut butter out of here and oh my gosh I was just gonna make this in like two seconds I got the timer going and I'm like oh my gosh I can't even get all the peanut butter out of here science could not help me I think science did its best work possible this peanut butter looks fresh and all that by all okay there <laughs> hold on whoa computer is really slow okay there biology that's the study of life that's you see something that's life and then you say that is it just because it's moving doesn't mean that it's alive just because it's, it has to also be duplicating, I guess, is uh, re, um, no, because replicators are, are obviously not necessarily alive. I have more peanut butter. This is done up for, oh, okay, I wrote something. Those are, oh, the quantity, yeah, you can measure rates of change order um you know that it changed because you did it in some order got peanut butter all over my hands the, that makes it a gestalt science the fact that there was some order to it first i oh and then the per relevance that's like purpose there we go thank goodness for gestalt science and that, uh, Oh, that's a, this is a messed up. Oh, I got, I got all this random peanut butter. Like, here's some more peanut butter, and I'm gonna just use up the rest of it again. See if the if that was not running, there's a science. Okay, experiments are some when you introduce a new, or not necessarily new, but we introduce a variable and you see how it changes. It's all about change, uh, pretty much. But um, 
because the universe changes. So if you introduce a variable, like for example, oh, now I'm worried about the camera is running, so I better be talking, I better be thinking, and, and I better not be just spending the entire video getting the last of the peanut butter out of the jar. And I better be doing something moderately interesting. Biology, okay, psychology, that is another science that has, so, okay, so you introduce a variable and you're trying to study somebody for what purpose? So that that way when you study somebody again, then you know what to do different for them or to make them different. Is that the purpose of psychology? I, th I think it's to, it's to, oh, if, we, if we get into some self-help book, they'll tell you what it is. Look, I think that most people know that, all right, now I gotta add the flour and a little bit of, yeah, I'm, I guess that there is some kind of a question about whether or not psychology is a science. Uh, oh, like what is the, the quantities involved in psychology? Well, obviously people know that you need to go into intake. They aren't, they aren't just asking you about, well, what is the, how did, your, your wound, it also has to do with how it, how it, how it, uh, what's your psychology about it? How, is it, is it really bothering you? Is it, okay, every day you wake up and, and you have this terrible disease, well, very nice. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> okay. So every day you wake up and so you go to the doctor finally and you say, I'm I'm not feeling good and every day that's the that's the question that a psychologist asks himself when he wakes up. But how are you feeling? And hopefully hopefully that the psychologist will answer I am doing really good today and I just woke up and then I made some, some peanut butter cookies and Pizzagate is not fake news. Investigate Pizzagate. No, I already did. I know all about Pizzagate and that makes me a scientist. And it doesn't bother me that uh, that I know about it because I wasn't even thinking about it. I didn't even remember that conspiracy theories are a big part of like, is psychology a science? Do the psych? Do the? Is it all? They're doing the mind control. And... No, I think that we are in the just the earliest stages of all this and it's, it's all gestalt psychology is like how old is it seriously okay there's no way that a psychologist really knows what he's doing but he's a scientist so he cares and enough to say i'm gonna figure this out Pollyanna, there she is. Um, can you see? There she is, sitting on the flower. Yeah, I heard this great story from a psych analyst about the person with all these troubles and he's limping around town and 
just the most miserable person you've ever seen and somebody finally says you know what are you doing carrying this around he has all this junk with him and he eventually loses everything and, and uh, but he doesn't really lose everything he like gives up everything slowly and what does this have to do with Pollyanna oh because the millstone and the, that was one of the more disturbing elements once I decided to get rid of the millstone um, speak I mean that's the, he carries around this millstone around his neck it's like I mean, I don't, I don't stand around and talk about, oh yeah, I made some cookies today. I'm going to flatten it out with a knife. Because it comes out just like you put it in the oven. But yeah, she's, maybe she has a good time because she doesn't even have a millstone. Because she just goes to the store every day. Oh, everything's the same. So physics will tell you everything is made of atoms and so... I don't know what that has to do with it, but point being, uh, yeah, there's the, oh, what's the purpose? What's the outcome? I'll show you what it is. There we go. Done. Yeah. If there, if there was a science of cooking, then, uh, then the purpose of the science of cooking would be to have some cookies on the table, I think.